Well, hello and uh, welcome to update 19. From me, Phil, the CEO of the Travel Village Group and... Hello, and of course, there's me, Jess, Phil's daughter and manager at the Travel Village. Well, there's no getting away from it. It's been quite heavy scary the last three months and, uh, pardon the pun, there's been quite a lot of water got under the bridge. Uh, lots going on behind the scenes and to be fair quite a lot in the open. I'm coming to you from my Covid project, my shed office or man cave as it's more affectionately known at is the family but let's start with some really positive and exciting news that's very close to home. Over to you Jess. Thanks dad. So the exciting news is that dad is going to be a granddad once again in this coming January. Yes, since we were last with you, I personally have expanded quite a bit. <laughs> and whilst the family is growing, the Travel Village Group too has continued to grow throughout the COVID crisis. And we now have over 80 people working within our family business. We've decided not to get political on our updates and I'm sure you all realise that travel is currently a very fluid industry. We all sit here every Thursday waiting to find out which destination is on Grant Shap's hit list and many of us have either had to change or cancel our holidays at very short notice. But there are now signs that airport testing and port testing will be the starting point to slowly open up destinations to fly and cruise to. This is the key to getting people traveling. Cheap and easy testing at airports and ports. Like I said, this is a very fluid situation, but there are signs that we can now look forward to putting into practice some of the frameworks agreed to get people traveling again. Now, in our world of ifs, whens and hows, there are two things that are certainties and in our message to you we want to dwell on them. Now is not the time to be shouting about deals and offers, not just deals and offers. Now's the time to also be talking to you about trust and desire. Thankfully, trust is part of our DNA as a family business and we want to reassure you that you can trust our team to understand you will have questions about travelling in the future. Trust that we will explain how this will work. Trust that we know your tour operator will deliver on their promises of health and safety. Trust that many operators have flexible booking and cancellation policies. Trust that our award-winning family business will survive this crisis. And trust that your money is 100% protected. Now that you know we are a business that you can trust, after all, we have kept our phone lines open throughout the crisis and kept our care team in full-time employment. We realise you have an incredible desire to travel. How come I get to talk about desire? Anyway, I think it's safe to say that we're all suffering from some form or another of cabin fever and we know there is a world out there just waiting to be explored once again. Those destinations, even flights, cruises, tours and staycations, we are now craving those experiences we took for granted so much pre-COVID. But what is interesting is the number of new bookings we're starting to see for 2021 and 2022 that are for longer durations and for holiday types that people have never done before. Our desire for travel is just overwhelming despite everything COVID puts in our way. During the lockdowns, you've had time to research, you've had time to reflect, and we have had time to talk about your future holidays and doing something different in 2021 and 2022. In fact, the three biggest changes we have seen have been longer, more luxurious holidays and cruises, more people booking UK breaks, experiences, and tours, and for the first time, 
a real shift of ocean cruisers to river cruising. That is true. And we are also expanding the products that we can bring to you. We now have over 300 specialist companies that we can use to send you away for a well-earned break. And of course, we also have five amazing brands here, which our friendly and knowledgeable travel experts trade under. From the Holiday Village and the Cruise Village to Southampton Cruise Centre and rivercruising.co.uk, not forgetting our shop, the Travel Village. Our team are working extremely hard to look after you. So, Phil, what have people been booking over the last couple of weeks? Thanks, Jess. I always love this part of our updates, and this time I have a few stats to share with you. So, let's start with what people are booking. Now then, let's have a look. What are the top three months um, for travel? Um, April, May, June 21, we've May been double the busiest month for travel. Interestingly, making an appearance is January 2022, and on that subject, today we start selling TUI Winter 2021-22 holidays. They're on sale today at the Travel Village, the Cruise Village, and the Holiday Village. So please call us to book your TUI holidays for next winter. Remember, we haven't closed our shop or our phone lines. Now, hot destinations or types of travel are Spain, uh, Caribbean holidays to Barbados, St. Lucia and Antigua, uh, Greece, Rhodes, Crete and Corfu top the list. Spain, the Balearics, the Canaries, no surprises there. Mexico, New York, Dubai and City Breaks. Now, the number one destination, no surprise here, but in second place <laughs> is Ocean Cruise, okay? But... Turkey. Everyone's booking Turkey. Next summer, all-inclusive, everyone's going to Turkey. Second place, Ocean Cruise. That's incredible. That just shows how much faith cruisers have in the cruise lines, making sure that when cruising resumes, it will be a safe environment. This comes down to trust, something we spoke about earlier. In third place is Greece, um, followed closely by River Cruising, and in fifth place is UK Breaks the staycation. Now, popular durations, of course, well, seven and 14 night holidays are still accounting for over half the bookings made. So, as you can see, um, there's no, well, there's some surprises, but I guess that's what's to be expected. Um, but what's clear is that there is a desire to get traveling again. And trust, I use that word again, trust, is clearly playing its part in giving you the confidence to travel again in 2021 and beyond. Uh, I think it's important to understand that travel has not been the driving force, and I say has not been the driving force behind the increase in COVID. We've been locked down, corridors shut, and the industry has effectively been shut down. But we look forward to traveling safely once again, sooner rather than later. I hope you enjoy this edition and remember, things will change, things have changed, but people's appetites for travel won't. You have a choice of where to book your travel arrangements. You have a choice of where to use your future cruise credit. We're a business that has done things the right way. Throughout this crisis, I hope you choose us and trust us to book your next holiday. So that's update number 19. We are still open for business and everybody is excited about the future. So thank you for watching and staying with us. But most importantly, stay safe, be kind, and we'll be back soon. So from me and my dad, it's goodbye for now.